To align different objects in a curve, let me close everything first so we can focus in the screen. I'm going to create a Bezier curve and we want to put instance and align it in the direction of this curve. So let's create a new profile. Let's press Shift A instance on points and we're going to use cones because it's easier to see the direction. Let me make this smaller so I want this not so big. And this, for example, something like that. And a smaller. Okay, if you want more cones, we have to put more samples in the curve. So here we're going to put resample. Okay, perfect. How we do to make this align in the direction of the curve? To make this is really easy. Just go in rotation and put curve tangent. Why? Because the tangent, if I go to edit mode, is this. Let me mute this one moment. So the tangent always is in any point is the direction of the point. If there is a point here, this will be the tangent. If this is a point, this is the tangent. If this continue, this will be the tangent. So that's why we use tangent. Okay, however, they are not perfectly aligned. We need to put something here that it's called align Euler to vector. We connect it here and really important, disconnect this, connect it to vector. And now just select O Y or Z. This one. G is the right one. Okay, maybe you're thinking, but I don't want them in this direction. How I make them to look in the other direction? Really easy. Go to edit mode and just select with right click and say switch direction. That's all. Now you can exit and you have different objects. We can put more if you want. And actually we can delete this in edit mode and for example, draw a different curve. And you will see that if we put a lot, all of them are facing the tangent of this curve. Also, we can delete this and create a curve like, for example, spiral. And let me do something like, something like that, as you can see. Always facing in the right direction. By the way, to create this type of curve, you have to go to preference, add-ons, and add, enable this, and you will have more options to create different curve. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.